Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have an Asus laptop. A customer accidentally spilled coffee on this laptop, due to which its keyboard got damaged. So today we will replace its battery and keyboard and upgrade the RAM. The model number of the laptop is FX506LH. First, unscrew all the screws on its back panel. The back panel will open with the help of an opener. First, unscrew the SSD card and disconnect it, and then disconnect the battery. Similarly, remove all the parts by opening their connectors and screws. Also, disconnect the display connector and power connector. Also, unscrew the heat sink and take out the battery. Disconnect the keyboard and mouse connectors. Also, disconnect the network connector and remove the network card and disconnect all connectors. Remove the heat sink and take out the fan by unscrewing it. Remove the logic board as well. We'll remove the protective plastic paper. Disconnect the display from the frame by unscrewing the hinges. I will also remove the speakers. Removing the USB connector. Now we will also remove the keyboard protection frame with the help of a soldering iron. Be careful while doing this work. After removing the frame, you can see that this keyboard is completely damaged. In this way, we will also remove the keyboard with the help of a soldering iron. After removing the keyboard, clean the touchpad thoroughly.
Fit the new keyboard properly. Once the keyboard is set up, reattach the protective frame using a soldering iron. Press all the edges properly. Double check that the frame is set up correctly. Clean the logic board thoroughly and also clean its thermal paste with the help of cotton and thinner. Also clean the heat sink. Install a thermal pad on the logic board. Attach the logic board to the frame. Connect all connectors. Install the speakers. Reinstall the fan and screw it in and attach the connector as well. Apply a thermal pad to the graphics chip as well. Apply thermal paste to the processor or graphics chip. Install the heat sink and tighten its screws. Install the network card and screw it and also connect its cables. Install the hard drive as well. Attach the frame to the display and connect its connector as well. Connect the SSD and tighten its screws. Connect the touchpad connector as well. Put in a new battery and tighten its screws. Now we will add 8 gigabytes more RAM to the system. Tighten all the screws of the hinge. Connect the battery connector. Install the back panel and tighten its screws. Turn on the laptop and check it. You can see it is turned on.
Let's meet again. That's all for today. Till then, bye. Don't forget to subscribe. It inspires me to make new videos in the future. Thank you.